In this video we are going to take a look at some factorising. Now as we talked about in previous videos we are often given just a single word with algebra and we're expected to know what that means. So in this case the word is factorise and factorise simply means to put into brackets. So it's, we can think of that as the reverse of expanding. So I've got 10a plus 15, I'm looking to put this in brackets. Now the first thing that I'm going to do to answer this question is figure out what the highest common factor of 10 and 15 is. So what is the highest common factor of the two numbers? So what is the highest number that fits exactly into 10 that also fits exactly into 15? That number is going to be 5. So 5 fits into 10 twice, 5 fits into 15 three times. There's no number higher than 5 that fits into either of them. Now what we do with this highest common factor is we simply put that on the outside of our bracket and then we try to figure out well what would I multiply 5 by to reach 10a. I'd multiply 5 by 2a and that would give me 10a. Then secondly what would I multiply 5 by to reach positive 15? That would simply be positive 3. So repeating the process here find the highest common factor of the numbers. The highest common factor of 8 and 20 is going to be 4. I put 4 on the outside of my bracket. Then what do I need to multiply 4 by to reach 8b? That's going to be 2b. Then what do I need to multiply 4 by to reach negative 20? That's simply going to be negative 5. And so that's my final answer. Now just before we move on we can always check our answer here. We can check our answer simply by expanding the bracket. So if I were to do that I should end up with this expression here. So 5 multiplied by 2a that gives me 10a. 5 multiplied by positive 3 that gives me positive 15. And so that means that I have factorised correctly um, 10a plus 15 because when I expand the bracket I get back to what I had originally. Okay, let's continue with our examples. So I've got a squared plus 7a. So here we haven't got any numbers, but we do have a's in common. So what we would say here is that our highest common factor is simply a. There is an a in this expression here, and there is an a in this pit here. So a is going to go on the outside of our bracket. Now what do I need to multiply a by to reach a squared. That's simply going to be a. Secondly, what do I need to multiply a by to reach positive 7a? Well, that's just going to be positive 7. And so our factorised expression here would simply be a bracket a plus 7. Okay, next one, 9a squared minus 6a. So again, let's find the highest common factor. Now we have got numbers in this one. So what would be the highest common factor of 9 and 6? That's simply going to be 3. However, we're not quite finished there because like this, like the earlier one here, a squared plus 7a, we've also got a's in common in both of them. So there is an a in both and so we put our highest common factor is not just 3 but 3a. So 3a goes on the outside of our bracket. Then we're simply going to multiply what do we need to multiply 3a by to reach 9a squared? Well, how do I multiply? What do I need to multiply 3 by to reach 9? That's going to be 3. Then what do I need to multiply a by to reach a squared? Well, that's simply going to be a. Next, I need to get to negative 6a. What do I need to multiply 3a by to reach negative 6a? That's simply going to be negative 2. Okay, next example. Again, I'm looking for the highest common factor. Let's look at the numbers first. The highest common factor of 12 and 8 is going to be 4. Then what else does it have in common? Well, it has an A in this one and it has an A in that one. Then it has a B in this one and a B in this one as well. So our highest common factor is simply going to be 4AB. Now, what do I need to multiply 4AB by to reach 12A squared B? Well, Let's start with the numbers. 4 multiplied by 3 will reach 12. 
a, what do I need to multiply a by to reach a squared? Well, I just need to multiply it by a. Then what do I need to multiply b by to reach b? Well, that's just 1, and so I don't need to write that in. So my first part in here is going to just be 3a. Then secondly, what do I need to multiply 4 by to reach 8? 2. What do I need to multiply a by to reach a? Well, just 1, so again, I don't need to write that in. And then what do I need to multiply b by to reach b squared? It's simply going to be b. So my factorised answer here, my factorised version of this expression would be 4ab bracket 3a plus 2b. OK, final one. We've got 30a squared b minus 18a cubed. So our highest common factor, our highest common factor of 30 and 18, starting with the numbers, is just going to be 6. Then, let's take a look here. Well, I've got a squared in this one, and I've got a cubed in this one. So the highest common factor here is going to be a squared. a squared is in this term here, and a squared is in this term here as well. So I put 6a squared on the outside of my bracket. Then what do I need to multiply 6 by to reach 30? I would need to multiply it by 5. Then what do I need to multiply a squared by to reach a squared? Just 1, so I don't need to put that in. And then what do I need to multiply 6a squared by to reach b? Just b. Then I'm looking to, what do I need to multiply 6 by to reach 18? 3. Then what do I need to multiply a squared by to reach a cubed? That's just going to be a. So my factorised answer for this expression is going to be 6a squared bracket 5b minus 3a.